what's going on YouTube welcome back to Joel Central today I have a very requested video highly requested video Been getting a lot of comments on my game banana profile ever since I made that mr. E uh, slash smash studio skin a couple months back and uh, I thought what a what a better time to do that video than on the first Tech Tuesday episode so yeah it's Tech Tuesday for the very first time and you already know I'm back on the grind back to this YouTube business and I'm actually really really rusty I don't know if you guys can tell I'm actually really bad at talking to the camera and into the mic um, I'm not I'm not as uh, used to it as I used to be obviously but uh, anyway I'm back and uh, really happy to be doing a requested video for my first Tech Tuesday so uh, definitely show it some love guys hopefully you guys uh, find it really useful so um, before you guys start this make sure you go and check the description of this video I have a couple download links there that you guys are gonna need in order to do this so first one is Python 2.7 make sure you download and install that and after you have it installed download the inject pack folder which I have here on my desktop uh, but you can place it wherever you want wherever you're gonna remember um, just for the sake of this video I have mine on my desktop so uh, once you have it wherever you need it or wherever you want it um, go ahead and open it up and right click on easyinject.bat click edit and a notepad will pop up like this so go ahead and see next to set path equals and within these quotations go ahead and change it to wherever your convert uh, file is and uh, the convert file is just located in the inject pack folder so just basically wherever your inject pack folder is forward slash or backslash convert and then the second one next to Python here, there's another quotations. Uh, make sure to change that to wherever your nut underscore inject dot py is. Um, and uh, that's also located within inject pack. So very easy. Once you've done that, go ahead and save it. Mine's already saved like that, so you don't want to save it. But uh, once you've done that, your inject pack folder is ready to mod and inject some mods into textures. Or something like that. <laughs> Anyway, um, obviously if you guys have, um, if you guys are checking this video out, you obviously have uh, a modified Smash Bros. So if you don't, definitely leave that in the description, eh, in the description, leave it in the comments and um, I just might get to it in the next episode. So um, for now, uh, for the people who already have it modded, uh, go into your Smash Explorer, go to uh, whatever fighter you want. In this case, I'm doing Diddy Kong, and uh, go to whatever character slot you want to edit, and uh, just grab the model.nut file from here. Just grab only the nut file and uh, the model.nut file, and put it into the inject pack folder. And once that's happened, go ahead and exit out of that because you don't need it for now. And uh, as you can see, model.nut file in the inject pack folder. So go ahead and hold Shift and right click in a white area and uh, you should see this open command window here pop up so go ahead and click that and a CMD prompt will open up now within the CMD prompt you're going to want to type nut underscore check dot py space model dot nut and once you've done that go ahead and press enter and all of this weird stuff is going to pop up now I'm going to get into exactly what this is um, in a bit but for now go ahead and click on GTX to DDS before you do anything now in the out DDS folder after you've done that you should see all of the textures for your character so this is obviously Diddy Kong and uh, we can start editing it so let's actually open up whatever program we're going to be using so for this video I'm going to be using Photoshop but you can use paint.net you can use whatever you want I'm sure you guys have photo editing stuff but um, Photoshop is what I'm going to be using um, just because that's what I have on hand and it's the best thing I've ever used so everybody knows Photoshop's the best so let's start with uh, this one which is the easiest type of texture which is just a plain texture there's no alpha matting needed there's no transparency everything is um, everything is just a very easy to to edit picture basically you edit it and you save it so uh, let's just hurry up and edit this really quick so we're gonna go ahead and just take that color here and 
Let's make this bigger. Okay, so let's just get rid of these stars and put something else. Get rid of the Nintendo logo too. For the later part of this video, I'll show you exactly why I did that. So for now, let's go ahead and grab whatever. You can grab whatever you want. You can you can draw whatever. You can change the color of the stars. It doesn't matter. For now, I'm just gonna put my Cherry Gang popped cherry logo um, on the front part of that shirt, and then on the back of the shirt, we're gonna put my Prime Time Smashing logo. If you guys don't know, Cherry Gang is actually my Super Smash Bros. team, so shout out to you guys, Cherry Gang, Gang Gang, you already know the deal. Uh, so yeah, there you go, really, really easy, and uh, we're just gonna, let's just, let's just type something here, okay? Well, not type something, let's, let's, let's write something, let's write, oh, wrong color, we gotta go, we gotta go white. Uh, let's put high, upside down, of course, because that's how, that's how your texture is. And once you've done that, go ahead, file, save as, and 33.dds, and go ahead and replace it. So, here's where this comes in play, the CMD. Here's where I'm going to explain exactly what is written on the CMD prompt. So, um, as you guys can see, this is being saved as um, 33.dds. So, we're going to go ahead and find 33 on this uh, CMD thing. So. Um, after this 0x12 or 0x whatever, there's a comma, and after that comma is a number. So that number is actually the number that we're going to be looking for, so we're looking for 33 in this case. So let's find 33. Here it is, 33, and it has 11 mipmaps, and it's format 0. So let's go over here. As you can see, we got existing mipmaps here. We got 11. So we'll just change it to 11, whatever it might have been. Um, might have been all. I think it's all when you guys first do it. So just change it to 11, or whatever number yours is, for whatever character you're doing, and it's format 0, so format 0 is always DXT1 ARGB, always remember that, not RGB, just it's ARGB, not RGB, and once you've done that, save, and it is ready, so let's go ahead and check it out, it should be adjusted, yep, see that, you can see that the uh, textures have changed. So now that we've done that, let's move on to the next type of texture, and that is a transparent texture, or something with that which is surrounded with transparency. So in this case, it is an eye, and we're actually the easy thing that you can do if you just want to change the color of the eye, you can just kind of go here, adjustment, oh, not you, adjustment, hue, saturation. You can change the color to whatever you want. But to make things harder, just to explain exactly how to do this kind of thing, we're going to be changing the shape of the eye completely. Oh, first thing you want to do is double click on background and click OK. Then you can delete it, then you can get an ellipse or whatever, and you can, you can draw an eye right here, draw a circle, and we can fill it in with black. Let's, let's, let's make it black. Okay, black. Let's get some red on this B. Let's make it a red eye. Give it some sharing gun. Oh. There you go. Sharing gun. <laughs> oh man. This is a terrible eye. Terrible, terrible, terrible eye. There you go. Sharing gun. Really bad sharing gun. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and um, copy, paste, and just line it up. And once you've done that, you can un, uh, undo the eye there. And adjustments, let's turn the brightness all the way up. Put the contrast down. Let's do the exposure. Okay, there you go. So now we have a white, a white circle. And once you have a white circle, or white shape, whatever you want your shape to be, go ahead and fill the outside with black. Copy it. You can turn that off and turn the eye back on. Go to your channels and go to Alpha 1 and go ahead and paste that on. So, as you can see, we got that big difference there. So, our eyes are basically going to change shape completely. And only if you're changing the shape do you need to go and do this alpha part. Otherwise, you know, you're totally fine with just leaving the alpha 
with uh, the basic shape if, if you're leaving it as a basic shape. So once you've done that, save as. Oh, wait, hold on. Make sure this is visible. Um, file, save as. And 7.dds. So you guys know the deal. 7.dds. Now you guys should know. You gotta, you gotta come into the CMD prompt and you gotta look for the number. So 7. Let's look for 7. 7 right here. 7 has 4 mip maps and it's format 2. So we got a new format to work with. So 7 mip maps. Oh, sorry. There's 4 mip maps, right? 7 is 4 mip maps. So 4 mip maps and format 2. So format 2 is always DXT5. You could use DXC3, but it's going to be really choppy and the edges are just going to look like crap. So do not use DXC3. Seriously, do not use DXC3. Just use DXC5, I'm telling you. So once you've done that, save it. And you can exit on out of that. And let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, we got a really crappy looking shrine gun there. And uh, yeah. So let's move on to the final type of texture that we got working with. And here's where that Nintendo removal comes into play where I put hi uh, we're gonna work with these weird bluish purple looking really weird looking textures here so the easiest way to work with these um, I'm gonna be showing you actually the best way to work with these is to use the clone stamp tool so if you don't know how to use the clone stamp tool um, I definitely recommend uh, watching a video but for simplicity's sake I'll go really quickly into how to use it you alt click wherever you want and it'll copy from that area so, bam, super easy to remove that annoying looking oval and you can replace it like that, super easy. So once you've done that there, go into your channels, go into your alpha and you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna do that for this as well. You don't wanna do a better job than me, but just for the sake of this video, making it go by a little faster, we're gonna be doing like that. Okay, so there we go. Got rid of everything, and uh, it's looking real clean. Obviously, <laughs> nah, it's it's really bad, but hey, it works. So there we go. This one's actually not too bad. That's actually pretty clean. Um, so once you've done that, go ahead and save as 28.dds replace. And you guys know the deal. You guys should be masters by now. You've seen it twice. 28. Let's look for 28. Uh, 28 is right here. 11 mint maps format 2. So change that. 11. We already got format 2 right here. DXT5. Save. And now those are the three different types of textures. You guys should be masters by now. So the last step is putting all these textures in to the model.nut file. So let's grab all the textures that we uh, worked with. So we got 7, we got 28, and we got 33. So these are the three different types of textures that we worked with. And uh, obviously you can change all of them, whatever you want to do, but just for the sake of this video, run and work with the three different types. So once you have them all in um, in your inject pack folder and not in your .dds, you can delete all of the other textures. It's just a good practice. And, uh, whoops, never, okay, always check, always check if there's a tmp.gtx, uh, you do not want any of these here, this will mess with your texture, so, always delete it, uh, these pop up after you've injected something already, so, um, just always, it's a, it's a good practice to always check, like I just did, it just becomes a habit, eventually, a good habit, so, um, now, you go and double click on, uh, double click on easy inject.bat, and you should see all of that fly by really fast. And uh, basically what it does is it injects these three DDS files into the model.nut. And once you've done that, you can go back to the CMD, press up on the arrows, on the arrow keys, and redo that one, and GTX to DDS, and check it out. There's our bad sharing gun, there's our cherry gang, and there's the hat with no oval. So, Everything worked out perfectly, and now that our model.nut is all good to go, we can go ahead and delete these unless you want to keep them and want to work on them again. But I don't just because um, 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 I really don't want a bad sharing gone like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, model.nut, go ahead and drag it back on into 
your costume folder and you're all good to go and as you can see we got the tmp.gtx it's actually a good practice to just uh, delete that right after you uh, inject something and also go into your convert file and delete all of these after you converted something unless you're working on the same character again um, but yeah it's good practice just always delete uh, that stuff there's also a cleanup.bat but I, I don't use it just because uh, I don't know if it works or not but you can definitely play with that and see if it works uh, I just like to do it manually eh, just works works for me I don't mind doing the extra work Anyway, now that your model.net is in your character slot, you can just kind of, you can just kind of uh, highlight everything and pop it into Smash Explorer. But I do my ex my Smash Explorer stuff on my laptop, not on my desktop, because that has the SD card slot. But anyway, uh, that is the end of this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something. It's actually super, super easy to do this stuff. So make sure you guys give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, definitely check the description and follow me on Twitter because I'm super active on Twitter and you guys can uh, interact with me and uh, follow me and uh, 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 tweet at me and uh, you can DM me and uh, uh, um, 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 um. Um, you can also Peace!